A. Ishne. All right, so I was watching this University of West Virginia game this weekend, and they were talking about how they just built a $50 million stadium and they continue to add to it and make it, you know, more glamorous. And I was like, damn, that $50 million that they just spent on that stadium came from the players, right? That's what's up. And then, you know, as this season continues to go on they keep talking about coaches that just got a 50 million dollar deal and this person that got a 54 million dollar deal and they're mississippi state coach dan mullen was just given a raise pushing his salary to four million dollars a year seven million dollars a year for the next eight years that's alabama coach nick saban's new deal university of kentucky announced a 52 million dollars seven year contract extension with head basketball coach john calipari the bigger question that I had this morning is, why do we, as black people, only expect the bare minimum? We come to grips with the fact that we deserve better. We work. Every time somebody steps on the field or we go into an office because of, it's a slave mentality that we've been taught that just get the scraps. I sure hope master leave us some chitlins, leave us some meat this time. And you don't ever ask for the breast, chicken breast. You don't ever ask for the ham. We just ask for the chitlins. We just want the scraps. We just want the leftovers. We just want whatever little piece we can get. And as long as our mentality is, we just want the leftovers, that's all white folks is ever gonna give us. So until we reach that point where we're comfortable saying, hey, these is our kids going out here, hustling and working, we only gonna get what we ask for. And if we're only asking for kibbles and bits, trust and believe, <laughs> they ain't gonna offer no more or nothing extra. And even the little bit we do, do get, we have to fight for. So why not fight for something that can change somebody's life? Why keep fighting for scraps? How many people do you know that say, oh man, I just wanna get, th I just wanna get through this month? How many people do you know that say, damn, I just wish I had enough to pay this electric bill or this rent? Never, I wish I could pay off my house. What do I gotta do to, to own all the land? What do I gotta do to own this building? What do I gotta do, so on and so forth, to have better? We always just want the fucking minimum and it drives me crazy because I hear so many people say, well, black men are, 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 are the ones that are being taken advantage of. Black men aren't given the opportunity. You have, 100,000 black men playing sports, whether it's at whatever college, give or take, I'm just throwing out that number, that are playing sports, that are starting, that are making hundreds of millions of dollars for these different institutions, and no one's demanding a check. No one's saying, how about let's get together as a unit, and we're not gonna play on Saturday. Clemson is not gonna play Kentucky, or whatever these top schools are. How come we're not getting together? And I can't do it, we can't do it. Chris Rock can't do it, can't none of these celebrities do it. How come the black men that are actually being taken advantage of are not the ones saying, let's get together and demand that we start receiving payment? There was a coach that said, he just got a $54 million deal. He was the one that said, if players start getting paid, I'm gonna find another occupation. Yeah, insists that his players not get paid. As far as paying players, professionalizing college athletics, that's where you lose me. Uh, I'm going to do something else because, uh, you know, there's enough entitlement in this world as it is. And I thought to myself, really? Really? You're going to go find another occupation? Fuck you going to do? You're going to go out there and you're going to coach. That's what you're going to do because that's what people do that make $54 million contracts. You go coach. So you're worried about, you got coaches worrying about if players start getting paid, that they're not gonna come to work no more. And he got a big deal because of that. So my question is, why are we okay with that? Why are we okay with receiving nothing and then complaining to everybody that we receive nothing? And, and as parents, we do the same thing. Oh my God, I just want my son to go to college. You just want your son to go to college? Well, he did go to college. Did he get a degree? Was he actually smart enough to get into that college had he not been playing football? So what do you think he's going to do when he gets to this college where he barely had a 2.0 or 2.3? You think he's just going to excel all of a sudden? So if that's the case, if you know his strength is in his sports, why wouldn't you demand a check for that? Because you should get paid for what you're good at. You don't 
No one sees this. No one sees that this is a problem. Athletes, this is for you. Take a knee. I'm not coming to work on Saturday considering I don't work, right? You're telling me I'm an amateur. This is not my job. Tell me you got schoolwork to do. And everybody don't show up on Saturday for the game that's being televised on ESPN for $125 million before commercials. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? and see where that gets you. But my problem is why are why is no one up in arms about this? Why do you keep hearing these, oh, we just built $50 million stadium. Oh, this coach just got $50 million. Oh, this person just signed a $25 million deal. Oh, this coach is making more than some NFL coaches. And no one says anything. No one realizes that money is being passed around off the backs of the players that aren't receiving anything. The new stream for coaches people underestimate. You get paid from the school, you get paid from camps, you get paid from a apparel company, you have your TV deal, you have your radio show. That's five revenue streams for the coach. So when I come into practice and I miss a couple of shots and I dribble it off my foot, and coach says, Jalen, what's going on with you? What's going on with me? My mother's lights are about to get cut off. That's my problem. And no one's saying anything. You get up on Saturday and you watch your game and you throw on your $100 jersey that they don't get no money from. You go spend $70 for a ticket, which those players aren't going to see, and everybody's okay. But here's the funny part to me. The funniest part of it all is they talk about all the girls that are trying to come up off of them. And yet the man is raping you every day, you don't even bat an eye at.